सो हाई गाइज डिसाइड फ्रॉम यूर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस वन वीक प्रिपरेशन किट डे वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन द हैकर रैंक वेबसाइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस इन पाइथन थ्री प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट एनी अदर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सोल्यूशन देन यू कैन ऑल्सो पिंग मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो एंड आई विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू वीडियो ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ओके सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी आर गोइंग टू फर्स्ट रीड अबाउट द प्रॉब्लम एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस ओके आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न द सोल्यूशन एंड प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड सो यू कैन हैव द बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड देन यू कैन यूज माई कोड ओके सो वट वी हैव डन हियर इज दैट फर्स्ट इन द प्रॉब्लम वी हैव गिवन एन एरे ऑफ इंटीजर्स एंड then we need to calculate the ratio of its element that are positive negative and zero and then we need to print the decimal value of each fraction on a new line with the six places after the decimal okay so we are going to just jump into the sample input over here so in the sample input we have given the six that is the length of the array means the there are six element in the array like the minus four three minus nine or zero four and one okay so in the sample output what we need to do is first we need to calculate what is the number of positive numbers over here so in the sample input we have the three positive numbers over here and two negative numbers over here also there okay so what we need to do is we need to just print the proportion of occurrence of positive numbers okay so we are we have the three positive numbers over here and we will divide by six that is the length of the array okay so we will get the 0.5 okay and then Then we also get the negative uh, proportion occurrence. So here is the my solution over here. So we need to just complete this function over here, and that will print the exact same values over there. Okay. So we are going to just first declare three variables over here: x, y, and z. And all the three va variables have the same initial zero 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 values. And then we are going to just run a for loop using the i variable, and that will be in the range of zero to the length of Array. Okay, so we are going to just take the all the values like minus four and then minus three and then minus nine, zero, four and one. Okay, so this for loop will iterate with each and every item of the array and then we are going to check for if the value of the array means the first value of the array is greater than zero, then we are going to increment this x. If the value of the item of the array is less than zero, then we are going to increment the value of the y. If both the uh, conditions are incorrect, then we are going to just increment the z. Equals to the z plus one. Okay, so all these uh, x, y, and z uh, variables will hold the uh, number of positives, negatives, and zero values in the array. So, so this statement will print the proportion of the positive values, and this statement will print the proportion of the negative values, and this will print the proportion of the zeros. Okay, so this is just a simple problem over here. We are just going to uh, submit this code. Okay, so because I have already tested with all the test cases over. So now. all the test cases are passed if you are new here then please subscribe to the channel because it take a lot of effort from my side to uh, make these kinds of videos and if you want any other uh, video on any other topic then you can also ping me in the comment section below okay so that's it for this video guys we'll meet you with a very new problem over there and with a new solution as well so bye bye and see you guys